So are you guys aware that a piece of equipment not properly grounded can actually become a conductor? So what I'm saying is this rooftop here can actually become live. The outside of the, the box, the chassis, can become live and if you touch it, you can get zapped. If you touch it with both hands, you can have the power go through your heart and stop it. The other day I posted an image of these two tools. In the body of that post, I talked about guys being taught to slap the back of a unit or disconnect with their hand to ensure it wasn't live before they started working on it. Now, I can't consciously sit here and tell anybody to touch a live piece of equipment or motor or compressor for that matter. So these two tools that I have allow me to check a rooftop condensing unit, whatever, before I touch it to make sure it's not lit up. And I'll show you how. So first we have non-contact voltage stick. Now if you put that up against the wire, we sense voltage. Okay, we don't know how much voltage, but we know voltage is present. When you walk up to a unit, before you go work on it, and you have a disconnect switch turned on, if you're weary about the unit, thinking there may be an issue with it, what if that unit's live? Well, take your stick up to it. That will tell you right away if this unit has become a conductor. I'm not reading anything, so that tells me we're good there. So next we can check with a meter. Most meters to check for the presence of power need to have a ground reference. This 755-2 doesn't. We can use one meter lead to do this. Now it's got two meter leads on it, but one meter lead is all we need to check for the presence of power, and I'll show you. One meter lead connected, and we got the presence of power with a buzz in the background of the meter. So same again guys, you walk up to the disconnect switch, you're weary about the machine, or maybe you're cautious and do it every single time. Stick the meter lead on the unit, presence of power is non-existent, we're safe, okay? This here, I don't really agree with, if you have the tools to check, don't touch power with your bare hands. It's not safe to do so. Guys, work safe. Have a great day. Happy HVACing.